I'm Steve Dwyer, founder of Edify Hub. In this video, I'll show you how to let your accountability partners see your activity on your Android phone or tablet with Accountable to You, the software I and my family use to help keep us accountable with our internet activity. If you're watching this video, I assume you've already signed up with Accountable to You. If not, Visit edifyhub.com slash accountability to find the videos on setting up an account for yourself, your family, or your own church, small group, or business. To start monitoring your Android device, find Accountable to You in the Google Play Store, install it, then open it. If you still haven't created your account, you could do it from here, but don't forget to use the promo code edifyhub, all one word, to upgrade to a 30-day free trial instead of the standard 10-day free trial. When you do, Edify Hub will also earn a commission to help us offset the cost of producing videos like this one. Once you have your account, tap this login button, confirm that you still agree with the terms, and tap continue. Enter the username and password you use to log on to Accountable to You, and choose a name for this device. This name is how you'll identify activity from this device on your reports. I'll call this one My Android Tablet. And tap Save. If you signed in as the administrator of a family account, you may also be asked to select which family member should be associated with activity on this phone or tablet. Accountable to you needs a couple of permissions granted to let it actually monitor and report the activity on this device. First, tap Activate the Admin app to go to the right place in settings. Then tap Activate this device administrator to let it report this device's activity. Next, tap Enable Accessibility to go to the right place in settings. Then tap Accountable to You and turn on its ability to read what's happening on the apps on this device. Tap OK to confirm. If there are certain apps that manage confidential information but don't allow access to inappropriate content, you may choose to exclude those apps. You can start that process from the next screen after tapping I got it. Tap settings and enter your password to confirm that it's really you changing the settings. Then tap app exclusion list. This list shows all of the apps on your device, including some normally hidden system apps. I tend to scroll past the ones I don't know. Check the box next to the apps you want to exclude from monitoring for example, a password manager. When you're done, tap Close. Your accountability partners will be notified with a list of apps that you excluded, so it's not a way to create a back door for accountability. Now, maybe internet and app activity aren't the only areas where you're looking for accountability. If certain physical locations pose a temptation, you can also have accountable to you report your GPS location. To do this, Check the box for Send Location Data and accept the verification prompts. When you're done, close out from your settings and other panels, and your Android device is now reporting activity to Accountable to You. If you need to install Accountable to You on other devices, visit edifyhub.com slash accountability slash install to find other installation videos. If you're ready to set up your accountability partners, visit edifyhub.com slash accountability slash partners. And if you want to see what the accountability reports look like, visit edifyhub.com slash accountability slash reports.